everybody and welcome back to my channel today since there's been such a big influx of well not big but like there's been an influx of new people around here and I thought it was time to share a little more information about myself uh, not all of you have been here since the very beginning um, in fact some of you have only been here since last March and so I have made a list of fun facts about myself and they're fun to me so that's really all that matters and I'm gonna share them with you I've got five facts and I'm hoping that when we're all done you guys can share at least one fact about yourself in the comments below so fact number one and I'm reading these because I want to get them right you know uh, I have actually been sewing since I was six years old. Fact number two, I went to fashion school in Toronto and while I learned a lot and I met a lot of great people and it was a really great networking opportunity, I did not finish the program and when I left I was about three credits short of graduating. Since then they've completely revamped the program so I would have to go back and do it all over again in order to get my diploma. Hence why I'm not wasting that time or money to do that. When I was in Toronto and in school, I would often use my reading weeks or request whole weeks off of school, like a week at a time, to volunteer for fashion week. Um, you would get school credit for it. I never took the credit. I just caught up on all my projects and things like that. Um, and I volunteered to work backstage, which is my favorite area. I don't necessarily like the schmoozing and all the people, but I do like interacting with the models and the designers and things like that. So I volunteered for four or five Toronto Fashion Weeks, like fall and winter, or fall and then spring. And um, I met so many amazing people. Um, I have seen Rick Mercer in his boxers uh, because I dressed him for a fashion show. I also met Stacy McKenzie and she was the most lovely human in the whole world at that same fashion show. I have seen way more people than I ever thought in my entire life naked um, because my job was literally to help models get changed as quickly as possible and I've seen so many boobs, like so many boobs. Um, I tried to make myself very useful and um, make sure that I was never standing around. I would always do work. Um, I never asked for selfies when I was backstage. In fact, when they put me in charge of the volunteers, it was like a rule I made that was like, until the work is done, there's no photos. Like, you get your shit done and then you can, you know, goof off and take photos and do whatever. But like, until that point when there's still work to be done, there is no selfies and things like that. I once interviewed Drake uh, and Trey Songs and Jamie Foxx all in the same day. This was a gig job I picked up off of Craigslist. I do not recommend doing this now. Like, I do not recommend like getting a Craigslist job um, now. But when when I lived in Toronto before, like. Instagram was a thing and DMs were a thing and you could network like that. That's how I got jobs over the course of a summer. So I spent an entire summer without like a real job and I just picked up like odd jobs. I volunteered for a film festival for two weeks. Um, I worked this like Drake job where basically my job was to follow around the filmmaker behind a like um, it was like a behind the scenes, behind the music um, for Atlantic Records and they paid me $100 to spend almost an entire 24 hours following around the videographer and I had to interview Drake and Trey Songs and Jamie Foxx and um, basically anybody on set and I had to get waivers signed. It was like the longest, longest, most boring day of my life. Um, the video shoot was supposed to be like 14 hours. It went almost to 23 hours. They kept changing locations and at one point in time Drake was like, no, we're not filming at that spot because 
it's really dangerous at that time of night and like we can't like that's where all the prostitutes hang out and we can't just go film there even if we have a permit um and I was like oh that's like three blocks from my apartment cool um <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that was a thing. Uh, the behind the scenes video is not even on YouTube. It's so old. Um, but yeah, that happened. And, uh, I do not recommend getting Craigslist jobs now. I'm not even sure how many people use Craigslist anymore, so. Last and final fun fact, I actually grew up and still live in Kingston. I only left to go to school and I thought when I um when I moved away that I to be in fashion you had to live in a big city and when I moved back here I was so absolutely devastated that I had to move back and the only reason I moved back was because I wasn't finding a full-time job in my industry or any full-time job in fact and so i moved back here and i started working at walmart of all things and then i got a full-time job at a collection agency and just like all kinds of random odd jobs to like pay my bills while i made things and um yeah it just like the rest is history i since moving back have found like a core network of people and women who support other women and I'm so happy that I moved back here. Someday maybe I will live in a big city again, someday I will live in every city in the whole damn country and just like move from place to place, but I'm so happy I came back when I did because now that I've been here for a while I have this network of people who support me and it allows me to be creative because I know I will always have that support. That is my five facts. I would love to know some facts about you guys because it's so hard. You guys just are a name on the page and you're lovely people because you leave awesome comments. But I want to know more about you guys. So leave me a fact in the comments. Uh, also, I want to remind you that I have launched the earring of the month club i'm not sure if you guys saw or what but essentially there's only 20 spots only 20 spots in the earring of the month club and when you sign up it's 20 dollars a month uh and you get a exclusive earring design every month that will not be available for sale anywhere else and that is a significant discount because um, my earrings range between $28 and $35 a pair. And so, yeah, um, getting them for $20, including shipping, is a huge deal. And it can be a, a good way for you to support both me and my creative endeavors. And you get something really cool and exclusive for you because you know that only up to 20 people in the whole entire world will have that particular design so if you're interested uh my patreon is linked below and you can sign up for the airing of the month club if 20 bucks is too much for you and you still want to be supportive then feel free to sign up for any of the other levels there are ones that range between i think two and fifty dollars i guess and uh, I appreciate every single one of you who support me, whether you are giving financially through my Patreon or you're just leaving comments, sharing, whichever. It seriously, seriously helps me. And I appreciate all of you and I can't wait to get to know you guys better. Thanks for watching. Bye.